For Complex News, I'm Pierce Simpson. On March 1st, LeBron James made his official A&R debut with 2 Chainz's album, Rapper Go To The League. LeBron's affinity with music has always been well known, dating all the way back to his high school days when he was spotted on Ho's bus, or in 2009 when Forever was featured on More Than A Game soundtrack, and we can't forget to mention that LeBron curated the soundtrack for NBA 2K14, or the fact that his homie Ho wrote a diss record to Deshaun Stevenson in his honor. With the growth of social media, LeBron's love of rap has reached an even larger audience, with LeBron seemingly previewing new music on the daily. With this multitude of ventures off the court, it's easy to see why artists are potentially hoping to get that Instagram co-sign from LeBron James. So let's start with some of the early stages of A&R LeBron. After the 2017 NBA Finals, the four-time league MVP and three-time champion wasted no time in prepping for the upcoming season. Unleashing a new ball look in jamming T Grizzlies first day out, just weeks after losing to the Golden State Warriors in the NBA Finals. LeBron's passion created both intrigue and memes, and even mocking from his peers. But the one person that benefited tremendously was T Grizzly himself. After LeBron's Insta story, T Grizzly says his sales tripled. My record sales tripled after LeBron put that up. Shout out to LeBron James, you made me a couple dollars. My song went platinum. During that same T Grizzly interview with TMZ, the Detroit natives vouched for LeBron to collaborate him on various endeavors. And much like that request, LeBron's A&R skills seem to be a loose definition of what an actual day-to-day -day job entails with an A&R. To be real, LeBron is a stimulus package to these artists, in many ways providing a unique opportunity to share snippets of music to fans that could in turn boost the profits of your records or increase the anticipation. Like in April 2017, during the heart of another Eastern Conference playoff push, LeBron was asked a quality question after Game 3 of their series against the Indiana Pacers. And it wasn't about how to stop Paul George, it was about Kendrick Lamar's newest album. I haven't stopped listening to it since he sent it to me before it came out. The guy is an unbelievable talent. His wordplay in his lyrics is unbelievable and it hit home for me at times because I was a kid who grew up in the inner city. This wasn't the only time that A&R LeBron will hype anticipation for an artist's album. In July of that same year, LeBron sent this cryptic tweet to Rick Ross in July of 2017. Shout out to the homie Rick Ross. You know what it is, G. While it's obvious that these two have some sort of relationship considering Bron's time in Miami, that simple tweet caused plenty of speculation that A&R LeBron knew something that we didn't. Could it be a new album on the way? Could it be a song? Over a year later, LeBron was mentioning Rick Ross once again on Twitter, but this time it was a more direct request. Rick Ross, talk to me, bro. I need some of that slick talk you be on. I know you working on that project. Hashtag Rose. With things coming to a bitter end in Cleveland after the 2018 season, LeBron James decided to take things out west and join the Los Angeles Lakers. It was obvious that the move to La La Land was more than just for basketball-related reasons. And as we've seen throughout the course of the past calendar year, LeBron has been doing everything. Whether it was the launch of the shop on HBO, his involvement in producing game shows on network television, to even starring in the upcoming Space Jam 2, LeBron has had plenty of endeavors away from Staples Center. In fact, some of those endeavors have gotten A&R LeBron caught up in a crossfire. In July, LeBron was spotted on Instagram working out to push a T's Grammy-nominated Daytona album. But that video was only weeks after one of the fiercest rap battles of all time between Drake and Pusha T went down, with things getting so messy that Pusha aired out the fact that Drake had a secret child. The constant back and forth between the two ended in a mediation by Jay Prince, but A&R LeBron got Drake's final words on the matter during an episode of The Shop, with Mav Carter stating that Drake texted LeBron asking if he let him down. That situation provided ammunition to Pusha T who followed things up with his own rebuttal on the Joe Budden podcast in 2018. I f*** with the show. Great to see LeBron be opinionated. With that being said, that particular episode, Maverick ruined the whole show for me. It wasn't authentic to me. It was nuts. On top of that, it was very biased. To be fair, even during the episode of The Shop, LeBron alluded to wishing that Drake would have responded out of simply pure entertainment and love of the craft. Even though LeBron's hip-hop acumen almost got him caught up in a crossfire, the mutual respect from both sides seemed to have outweighed any serious slander towards LeBron. But LeBron James got himself in trouble when he had to account for lyrics that A&R LeBron showcased on his IG story. In December of last year, LeBron posted an Instagram story of 21 Savage's latest record, Jewish Money, on his page. The post caused controversy with some people of Jewish faith taking offense with the posting. In fact, the NBA itself had to talk to LeBron about the matter. The league office has been in contact with LeBron James about his social media post referencing Jewish money, accepted his explanation that he made a mistake and the NBA would take no action, league sources tell ESPN. LeBron would ultimately have to release a statement on the situation. Apologies for sure if I offended anyone. That's not why I chose to share that lyric. 
I always post lyrics. That's what I do. I write in my car, I listen to great music, and that was a byproduct of it. So I actually thought it was a compliment, and obviously it wasn't through the lens of a lot of people. My apologies. It definitely was not the intent, obviously, to hurt anybody. LeBron's platform even resulted in people wanting accountability from 21 Savage for actually pinning the lyrics, and the rapper tweeted this on Christmas Eve of last year. The Jewish people I know are very wise with their money, so that's why we say we've been getting Jewish money. I never thought anyone would take offense. I'm sorry if I offended everybody, never my intention. I love all people. And in sort of a full circle moment, blurring the lines between Los Angeles Laker LeBron and AR LeBron, in January of this year, amid much speculation that Kyrie Irving is unhappy in Boston, LeBron posted an IG snippet with Fetty Wap's Rewind playing in the background. It also drummed up a ton of commentary from the blog boys when LeBron decided to tag Kyrie Irving in the Insta story. This moment created plenty of think pieces about Kyrie and LeBron teaming up again like their days in Cleveland. And of course, LeBron knew exactly what he was doing, utilizing music as a vehicle to get his message across without having to say anything himself. That Fetty Wap Rewind reference came about a week after Kyrie called LeBron to apologize about his past behavior in Cleveland. And now we're at this point, where LeBron will officially a and rap project that seems to be a culmination of that a and LeBron moniker that he's been jokingly given, which sorta isn't a joke anymore. 2 Chainz, by any metric, is a major artist and to enlist the help of LeBron James would surely suggest that he values his opinion on music. And as LeBron considers himself to be a hip-hop historian, only time will tell if LeBron is truly an A&R or merely an elevated cosign for artists to do larger numbers. But what do you guys think? Is there value in LeBron, A&R, and 2 Chainz's latest album? Let us know in the comment section down below and be sure to keep it locked to Complex News by subscribing to us on YouTube. For Complex News, I'm Pierce Simpson.